Hey everyone, Chris Dick here. We're continuing on with our Hadoop cluster installation on Amazon AWS. And this tutorial is about passwordless SSH and allowing the other servers to communicate with, uh, with each other. So we have four servers right now, uh, four nodes. We want all of them to talk to each other. So what we have to do First of all, we're going to go into WinSCP, and WinSCP will allow us to dig into our name node first, and uh, this is going to allow us to get started with uh, pulling some files off of our local computer and then throwing them into uh, the name node. Okay, we're using our name node as our a bit of our uh, workhorse computer here. Okay. So the first one we want to look at is we have a config file. Okay, this config file is uh, is related to your system, your architecture. Um, this is a file that provides aliases, in other words, alternate names to this big long uh, DNS uh, name that we use here. We could uh, continue on using the the host name just the same. Uh, but uh, it's much nicer to be able to use a short name. So this config file in SSH. In other words, if I say, if, if I type SSH uh, data node one, if I'm in data node, or sorry, if I'm, at, I'm in uh, name node, uh, and I type SSH data node one, it's going to SSH into data node one. So it's gonna connect me to the other computer and log me in that way, okay? Uh, so, so again, rather than typing out this big long thing right here, we are also, uh, we have our PEM file that we produced uh, earlier when we set up the instances. That PEM file has to be copied to those other servers as well. It uh, essentially just gives a log that says, uh, when I log in, uh, use this PEM file uh, and uh, we're all done with it. You don't need to worry about anything else. Don't ask me for a username. Don't ask me for a password. It's all right here. Okay, so I will, uh, I'll make sure that I put a modified version into the show notes for you just so you can, uh, and that, that's in YouTube, so you can uh, put it into the, into your own file pretty quickly and easily. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. All right, and then of course we have our PEM key, which is uh, right here in our local folder. We're gonna take those files, okay, and we're gonna drag and drop over into our SSH, okay? Now we're not done yet. What's important here is that uh, the security level has to be set on that uh, PEM file. Um, SSH doesn't like it when a file is too visible to people, so you have to sort of lock it down a little bit. So we're going to get go into this administrative method of calling uh, into uh, that feature. Uh, uh, sudo just is just a way of uh, calling in as an administrator. It's just a quick way of doing so. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to modify some of these permissions here and it's going to be set to a level of 600 and we're going to set the file name my-hadoop-key.pem, okay, and that is in the SSH folder, okay. So if we push enter, that would set the uh, permissions and there's no feedback or anything like that. It just uh, just goes ahead and does it. OK, now that we've got that per those permissions set, um, I've uh, copied a bunch of these commands that I'm going to be running uh, over to a file so that I can just uh, quickly run them for you for everybody. So what we have to do now is we have to copy the config file and the PEM file over to data node one, two, and three. Okay, we're gonna use this command, <clears throat> SCP uh, secure copy is uh, what that is, and it copies the PEM file and the config file over to data node one in the SSH folder. Okay, so do that. It says, uh, do we want to, uh, are we sure we want to do this essentially? Um, I say yes. Okay, so says that we copied over two files. Now, just so you can see how that works. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so you know that it actually did copy those files. I'll show you. They are right here. We didn't do any magic before. We didn't copy anything before. While we're here, we'll just establish a connection on the other two nodes. This is data node two. As you can see, there's no files there yet. And then data node three. Okay, so no files there yet. Okay, so we're gonna do data node two now through that. And I'm gonna go over here and copy my command again. Okay, I say yes, because I want to copy it. And it's over here. If I refresh, they're there. Okay, we'll go over to data node three, same thing. Very important that we get all this in. And I say yes. Excellent. Okay, great. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is um, SSH into name node. Okay, and that's our that's this node right here. We are going to generate keys. All right. Uh, in name node, we don't have any key files here yet. All we've got is a public key that is um, going to help us access other computers, but we need to generate a key for this. So we use this command, okay, key gen, uh, and it's SSH, SSH command. Uh, da dash F is the file name that it's going to create. So it's SSH key underscore RSA. The type is dash T, which is RSA. The passphrase is capital P uh, dash capital P and it's empty string. Okay. Now when I do this, all right, it um, generates a pass uh, pass key for us or uh, there we have it They're right there. Okay. And then what we do is we're going to copy the, the contents of the pub file. So you can see here it's an SSH RSA uh, key. It's a big long string of uh, information here. Okay, you don't have to remember that uh, that that key off the top of your head. Just note that it's going to go into authorized keys right here. Okay. All right. So when we run this command now, we're going to go over here and copy Okay, I'm going to run that. And what this does is, it's, is it takes the contents of pub, the .pub file, and then puts it into authorized keys. Okay, now when we open that file, there will be two keys, and that would be one that would, was copied from the pub. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do that for each of these, for data node one, two, and three. Okay, that's one. That's two. And here's, oops, I gotta copy that. Three, good. Okay, now let's just prove that it worked here because things happen sometimes they don't always work we do ssh data node one okay we are in uh, ssh data node two okay i can say yes i want to uh, want to allow that right and ssh data node three Yes, I do. And remember, we're, we're not on the, the name node anymore. That's why it keeps asking us this question. Okay, let's go back to the name node. And yes, because it's asking us from data node three right now, uh, do we want to do this? And yes, of course we do. Okay, and that's it. Uh, the passwordless uh, SSH is entirely set up. Our next tutorial is actually setting up Hadoop itself.
okay and uh, these this is where it gets a little bit more fun because there's lots to do with all these all the rest so uh, remember to like and share subscribe um, and uh, we'll catch you very shortly for the rest of the lessons talk to you soon